Hello, um, my name is Suzanne. I am trying to sand this bed frame that I got here uh, from Craigslist, a little Craigslist purchase. It's a pretty nice solid wood bed frame. Um, and I picked up this um, small um, hand sander. It's called the Drill Master 120 volt orbital hand sander prep surfaces strips paint and smooths nearly all material um, as you can see it has some other information there I'm not quite sure what that means because it's this is my first power tool to be honest to be quite honest um, it says here on the back that it used these sanding pads four inches by four and a half inches I picked up these at Walmart they're the gator value pack 24 sheets of 150 fine it says fourth clamp on sandpaper um there's some more information for you guys so it says four and a half to five and a half and this says four to four and a half these work great so if you want to get some of those go ahead and pick them up um so let me show you what it looks like inside um so I've already used it a little bit. Um, this is not an unboxing video. Um, probably shouldn't do that. Just a sec. Put this down. Okay, so here it is. It comes in this plastic. Um, now that I've got it out of the box, this is what it looks like. It's a hand sander, like the description says and it has this power on and off button. Um, it has a square bottom. Um, also in the box, there's um, this nozzle for the vacuum and there's instruction manual. Um, it says right here that there's six vacuum holes to reduce sanding dust. Um, and this was also covered in a plastic bag. So, you know, that's how it comes out of the box. Um, so this is the color of the bed frame, and this is the bottom of the bed frame that I just sanded. Um, sanding this whole thing, including the sideboards of the bed, took about 20 minutes. Now as you can see, it, it uh, roughed it up pretty nicely. There's some areas that I want to go over a little bit more, and that's my fault because, you know, um, it's my first power tool, and it's my first time using it and I'm still learning um, but it's it's a pretty good tool um, I put on my hat because the Sun um, and I, I like it so far I like that it's easy to maneuver um, it's has a, a basic simple um, function you just turn it off and on before I get to the sanding I actually want to show you how easy it is to put these um, sandpaper sheets onto this machine onto the drill master or little hand sander um, so before I bought this hand sander I actually watched a video on YouTube and um, the man in the video said that it was quite difficult to put these pieces of sandpaper on and I have to agree in a sense um, that it does take a couple of times to get it right um, but I found a simple hack um, that might make it easier for you if you decide to get this machine and the hack is um, you open this clamp see this clamp up here it opens um, and you stand up the paper you stand it up straight right there and you go ahead and clamp down the paper and as you can see it's pretty it's in there tight okay so after you do this part you go ahead and flip the machine over and you bring the paper up and as you can see there's a significant amount of paper on this end and you can tighten it and flap it over this corner you could bend it a little bit and you want to um like 
undo the clamp on this side and then you're just going to push the clamp down and close the clamp and voila it's on there so if you already know this hack there you go <laughs> now for the fun part i'm going to go ahead and plug this puppy in and test out the sanding on um, the top the headboard of this bed frame so that you can see what this drill master hand sander can do all right give me a sec so just so you know it's going to get a little loud um i will not be able to talk during this video but you will be able to see what it can do right now um, and then i'll give you my um, last minute remarks here we go remarks um, I am very pleased I'm very pleased because this is my first power tool um, I am by no means a professional um, I am NOT a professional sander by trade um, so if I had the incorrect form or in the improper technique of sanding you know what I'm okay with it because all I needed to do was rough it up take off um, the top layer of um, stain and I'm just gonna be spray painting it anyways I'm gonna be spray painting it white so that it could have a nice contrast off of the newly painted guest room in my home um, so for me this worked a plus um, I will definitely be using this little candy machine um, next time I pick something up that needs a little touch up or something uh, needs to be revived I'm definitely going to be using this to take off the top layer okay thank you for watching good luck and I hope this helps